So for you, this is going to be my belated Louis Vuitton birthday haul unboxing. So this shopping bag, this huge shopping bag, as you can see, it's so big, it oh, goes all to, into the frame, has been sitting in my closet uh, in Germany and now in Sweden for the last couple of months. And I've not been unboxing it because I wanted to share this with you. Uh, I'm a bit weird about that, I know, but um, yeah, that's just the way I am. But I'm super excited that I got this um, because it's actually a model. I've just found out they discontinued it and brought it back in a new version. So I got the old one and that's really cool because I've been wanting this bag for a long time. And as you can see in the bag, I actually have three items and yeah, two of them belong together. And the third one is something I bought extra when I picked up the bag. And uh, I went to Louis Vuitton on my birthday. It was a Friday or a Thursday. I don't really remember. And um, they didn't have the bag. I went there with my sister, but then I decided to buy a pair of sunglasses that I've never unboxed on camera, um, that I've been using all, uh, all along the summer. And um, yes, I had to wait a couple of weeks to get actually the bag. And when I got back with another friend, I was in such a good shopping mode because I had one of the nicest essays ever that I decided to actually go ahead and purchase something else. And I'm gonna show you that one first because it's a smaller item and it comes in this box and it's an accessory from the men's collection, from the spring collection this year. And yeah, as you can see, it's actually, oh, it's already opening up. It's a shawl or a cadet as they call it. And um, this one was from this year's spring collection and I really, really like this one. And I saw it and I was kind of like, I need to have it because it's blue, it's my favorite color. It has this nice, uh, um, check pattern on it with the red that I find super super nice and if you look a bit closer you cannot really see that it's from Louis Vuitton because there is a Louis Vuitton weaved in here but it's not the whole scarf it's only half of it and when you look at it it has this faded effect so if, if I you can see it here but when I turn it over on the other side it's actually blue and then it starts to come in. So the bag that I got actually came with a luggage tag and I got my um, little uh, luggage tag heat stamped and this time I got it in blue um, because blue is one of my favorite colors and I have a, another one on a key ball that's in gold so I decided I'm gonna go with blue and I can switch them out in between and from the tag you already know this is gonna be a Demir Bean bag. The bag I got, it comes in this huge, huge box and it flips up like this and in, in here is the bag and it's not folded down because you can't fold it. It comes in the typical Louis Vuitton dust bag and voila, let's see what's inside. And I already hinted a bit because it's a model that they discontinued and brought back in a different version and it's the Icar or I care bag as you might want to call it. This is the old version that's still in Monogramma Bean, uh, in, in Damir Bean, not Monogramma Bean. Uh, it was also available in Monogram and the old version has the pouch here, uh, the new one has the zipper all the way around and it only comes in Monogram and Dami Graffite. Uh, I don't like Dami Graffite, I never wear black, I'm not a black wearing person. I, I wouldn't buy it in Monogram because I don't like water to get um, on the Vachetta leather and stain everything. I live in Sweden, it, it, I live down near Copenhagen in Malmö. It's very, very likely that it's gonna rain during the day and I don't want a bag that's ruined, especially a designer and a luxury bag. But this is a super, super nice work and travel bag because on the bag you actually have this nice feature so you can put it on your rolling luggage and I have a really nice one from Dalsay that fits perfectly to that one. Um, it has a super super big compartment on the inside. It has a also like a foldable compartment for you can see here for a laptop. It does come with a strap and this is the textile strap but I can of course use the one that I use for my key pole as well that's in leather. There is the key and the little lock and of course there is the, oops, where is it? The little card material. 
And then what actually sold me to this bag is that you can open the front and it opens up really, really nicely. Oops. And the trouble that I have now is I have a really nice backpack that I use for travel, for work or for leisure. But I always have the stuff in the backpack, so I have to take it off, open it up, get everything out. And in here, there's a huge compartment for a lot of stuff. So I can put iPad, I can put a passport, I can put my wallet, I can put uh, pens, anything that I need in here. And it's just there by zipping it up and I don't have to take it off. That's, that's sold it for me. And the other thing is, and some of you know, I own the Porte Document Jour, the old version Damier Bean that I bought for my birthday like two years ago and I've reviewed it on my channel. You can click on the link below. I That's one of the bags I've not really used. It's too small. It just fits a laptop, maybe a pad, a, some pencils, and maybe an iPad, and that's it. And it's, it's, it's not a good fit for me for work because it's just too small. Some people might like that. I don't. So I really like this one because this is big. I can fit a lot of stuff in here. I can fit even water bottle, maybe an apple, something to eat, so all the stuff that I need during the day. And um, yeah, and I think it's a classic. And they had it in the range for a long, long time. And I really, really like this. And I should have gotten this first when I got my Porte Document Jour, but I was too, uh, I would say, too cheap because the Porte Document Jour was much lower in price. And I thought this is gonna be okay, but I should have gotten this one. I will, I will sell the Porte Document Jour and only use this one for the future. So everybody, that was it. That was my belated Louis Vuitton birthday haul unboxing. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Check out my Instagram, my blog, um, or anything else that is in my social media. And yeah, I hope I see you next time.